Hey, check this out. I got this sales flyer from Ollie's Bargain Outlet, and they had this virtual reality viewer listed for $4.88. It's basically like a Google Cardboard, and it will fit phones from 3.5 inches to 6 inches. So here is my VR viewer that I got from Ollie's, uh, 488. The regular price is 9.99, and I did notice that other places are selling it for that. It is this extreme brand that I've never heard of, and well, it's got a head strap. You put your phone in there too, and it has the lenses and all that. I don't think it has the magnet. Uh, but let's take a look here. Get that sucker right open and unbox this VR viewer. Very cheap VR viewer, but it has the benefit of having that head strap. And it's plastic and more rigid than a Google Cardboard. Yeah, the thing about the Google Cardboards that I don't like is that cardboard's not that sturdy. It's a cool proof of concept idea, but for something to use every day, it's just not that good. Okay, here it is, wrapped in the plastic. It looks pretty nice. I'm already thinking that that was a $5 well spent. We got a manual. I don't know what's in that, but I'll find out. We got something with QR codes for free apps, to download free apps. I'm guessing it's just a link to all kinds of apps that you would find on the Play Store anyway. We got something right here. I don't know. A contest or something. I don't know. Promotional stuff. Well, that's some attractive packaging, isn't it? Very nice. It looks like a world of excitement is ahead for you if you get this. Uh, suction holds phone in place. That's great. Um, yeah, you know what you can do with this. You know why you want it. Let's check this sucker out. I'm gonna put it on my head and see how, see how it feels. Okay, I've got this on my head and it feels pretty comfortable. Though, as one Amazon reviewer said, there's kind of like the potential for pain or discomfort right at the bridge of the nose. There's like this plastic hitting right there. And that could really be uncomfortable after a while. I don't know, maybe it needs adjusted. Maybe you gotta get some extra padding in there from somewhere else, but for the most part, it stays on really good. The rest of it's comfortable. That bridge of the nose part, that's not too good. It's going to need some padding there for this to be good. Or maybe with a Dremel tool, maybe that could be carved out. Maybe that could be a solution. Oh, by the way, I just noticed that there's this strap that is supposed to go over the top of your noggin that I didn't have on mine. It wasn't over my head in that previous clip. So yeah, you got this part here that goes around the back of your head, and then this goes over the top. But look at this. I mean, that's some pretty good padding right there. There's the lenses. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get a good angle here so you can actually see them. They are adjustable. Um, I don't know exactly how you do all that. Oh, there's some sort of screws. It feels like it's tightening when I do that. Um, maybe that's for focusing too. I'm not sure. There's st still some more that I need to learn about this. Um, there, that's where the phone goes in. There's all the stuff. There's the suction cups. If your phone has a slick back, I'm sure that uh, will work. Otherwise, it might not work. I don't know. I'm getting ready to put a phone in there and try this out though. So, to get started with this thing, you'll need a phone. I've got this LG L90 that's already running a cardboard app, VR bike, and all I have to do is I guess get that started. I guess you do it like that, and you open this up. 
there's those suction pads, suction cups. You just set that phone in there, center it vertically and horizontally, and put it in there. I don't know anything about adjusting the lenses yet, but you can adjust those. And you just uh, close it up and put that on your head. That's all there is to getting this going. I'm going to put it on my head now and give it a try. Okay, I just tried it. And there's the game running inside of it. You're not going to see 3D, but when you put it on and you play it, it works great. The phone is held in there securely, and it's just really awesome. It's, it's, it's $5 well spent. And it seems like you could mod this to put a magnet on there and make it have the same functions as uh, as the Google Cardboard. But this thing right here, that is killer. The reviewer on Amazon was right. That hurts. I think it's right there. Yeah, that's the part that hurts. That will hit your nose. It needs to be dealt with with a Dremel and then maybe sand it down smoother. I don't know. It needs to be re-engineered so that that's not there. But this is a great $5 product. I got mine over at that Ollie's Bargain Outlet. I can't wait to have some more fun with this. This is going to be hard to put down. I might have a, a sore on my nose after a while if I don't fix that right away. But yeah, this extreme... VR view, virtual reality viewer is really super cool and I think you should get one.